Yo, what is up YouTube? This is Pure Kicks back again with another video. And for those who have not read the title just yet, today we are taking a look at the LeBron Soldier 13. Strive for greatness, my guy. SFG. Let's get it. Firstly, massive shout out to the family over at Pro Direct Basketball for sending these through. If you'd like your pair of these amazing LeBrons in any upcoming amazing colorway, head over to their website. Link will be in the description box below. And yeah, definitely check it out because your basketball needs shall be met and taken care of. But before you do that, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Like this video and show your support to your boys like you guys always do. Comment down below your thoughts on the LeBron Soldier 13. And of course, hit that subscribe button and the bell next to it to get notified every time we drop a new video. Yeah? Cool. The LeBron Soldier. LeBron's bench squad. Mm -hmm. His B-line. Yep. Six man. Yep. Arguably, in my personal opinion, better than his actual signature shoe. Ooh. Personally, the LeBron Soldier 12s were a complete madness. They were. I think it was the uh, most viewed video on our channel was all the performance. There's nothing to think about it. It was definitely our most viewed video so far. So shout out to everyone who's watched that. If you shout haven't, out. head over, go watch that. And when you finish with that, come watch this one. For those that have seen the LeBron Soldier 12 performance review, in that video, we mentioned that the uh, Soldier line was gearing towards a more all-round basketball shoot. Facts. Definitely more on the lighter side, more on the supportive side. More flexible. And this shoe definitely follows suit from that. It looks absolutely amazing. It's cold. It's got straps. It's got straps on straps. It's, on it's got straps, straps behind straps, which is on top of straps. It's got materials. It's got everything that you want. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. So as per usual, starting out of our favorite part of the shoe is support. Support, bro. And it comes from the obvious. Yeah. Flo just mentioned it. There's straps. There's straps on straps. Straps behind straps. Straps behind straps that are then on top of straps. Not only that, the usual suspects are right there. Yes. That outrigger shape, internal heel counter, yes. overall lockdown of the shoe. But it really comes from these straps. Yes, these straps are, I've never seen before. They're straps, bro. They are adjustable. Oh, how am I gonna say this? They're fine-tuned, adjustable straps. You can adjust the straps. I can't say this, I can't, I can't word this. Fam, they're durable straps with adjustable slip knots on top of the strap. So you adjust That's the strap. It. You're strapping in the strap. You're strapping in the strap to make sure that your strap is fine-tuned to your fit. It's mad. And that, in hand, enhances the support. It's so just mad. Just talk to them because I'm losing it to me. I was trying to and I messed up. That, along with everything we just mentioned regarding oh the usual gosh. suspects, you are held so well every single turn, twist, jump, stop, jab, step. What are you Swimming, 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 swimming. No matter what it is, landing. You're, held, landing, you're held amazingly in the LeBron. I love them. It's what we expected from yeah. the LeBron soldier line. Even the LeBron's itself has always been a very supportive shoe. Yep. And this was no exception. It's a 10 out of 10 support. 10 out of 10 I said support. It. I said it. It's perfect. It's perfect when we're talking support. Perfect, perfect. bro. I think, I think our point came across. So I think, think they got it. Right, same. I think they think we know we like the support. Yeah, I think they did. That's all we need them to do. Yeah, fair enough. Get them with traction. Next up, talking about the traction. Now this was definitely the next thing that really stood out to us. Yep. This traction pattern was beastly. As you guys know, we test out all of our shoes on extremely dusty courts. Courts that, in my personal opinion, should not be allowed to be played on, do you know what I mean? <laughs> they should not be safe. And this traction pattern held up extremely well. Sports, yeah. Bro, the, the herringbone, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They put it on the LeBron Soldier, and it does exactly what it needs to do. Yeah. The grooves are very deep. Very. So dust collection was not a problem. Not at all. We had, did need to wipe them too much. Nah. I mean, it's close to perfect, bro. And the coverage for me, it wraps up a little bit. Talk to them. Talk about when we're talking about it being a more of an all-round shoe, your guards and types of foot dragon types of movements. When you've got that coverage, yep. you've got a great traction shoe. This movement here, hmm, yeah. that there, you're good to go. Yeah, very good. I traction. loved it. So when we're talking outdoors, 
they held up extremely well. They're good to go. We're talking hard rubber, deep grooves, the yeah. two main things you need when we're talking outdoors, and they did their thing. Yeah. 100%. And what would you give it a score then, Timmy? Easily a 9 out of 10. Why not a 10 out of 10? I don't know why you asked me that on camera, but look, they weren't as sticky or as bitey as a 10 out of 10 would feel. Yeah, I hear that. They did hold up, they did their job. Of course they did, as you can just tell, we have a lot of nice things to say. However, that sensation of yeah. a stick and a bite, yeah. yeah, that's a 10 out of 10 only thing. We didn't I, quite get that. Point. I asked that question knowing the answer, but I asked the question anyway. I know you did. Thank you for that, Flo. I know you did. Now, let's talk about cushioning, Timmy. Let's talk about cushioning. We have one of my favorite setups. Yes, it is. It's not just heel zoom. Yep. It's four foot and heel zoom. Yep. Basically full length zoom. Basically. But it's heel and four foot. And it bangs severely. The Phylon Carrier is also soft and it really holds the zoom bags well. It does. It feels amazing under your foot. Yep. Impa protection, you're good. The response is there. Court feel is there as Court well. Court feel is good, Court considering. Court feel is decent. All of those things being said, I mean, what more can be said? <laughs> <laughs> Now for me, I really enjoyed the heel to toe transition on them. Yeah. Now when we're talking dual bags, we normally have a broken kind of heel to toe, but it didn't feel it in these. The Phylon Carrier took care of the job of the in-between, if you will, and it felt super nice, really, really comfortable throughout. Smooth. So for all that being said, it's a nine out of 10 cushion. It's a calm nine out of 10. Definitely calm out. Of 10. This damn chair, cool. Now moving on to the materials. In the LeBron Soldier 13s, we have an overall ripstop upper. Yeah. We also have our Velcro straps, and they're actually reinforced with these hints of synthetic suede in the heel, and obviously on the forefoot on the medial side as well. How did they feel, Timmy? Fam, they felt fantastic. Yeah. They were good materials. Yeah, bro. They were very supportive, going back to what we said in support. They were pretty flexible, which yeah. is a big thing now when we're talking the Soldier line. Um, I won't say they were very breathable. Yeah, My weren't. foot was hot. Yeah. It didn't breathe too tough. They weren't breathable at all. Pretty much. That's what I was leading to. But yeah, you're, you're, you're right. Say it. Say it. Yeah, okay. With chest and vim. Yeah, you're right. I'm no not, breathability. There was no breathability. That's, that's, the, well, that's the one downfall of the materials. Yeah. Other than that, they were very, very flexible. Breaking time wasn't terrible. No, not at all. Considering, tool. again, it's shoe so supportive, you'd expect it to really take its time. But it did take some time. But considering all factors, Breaking time was pretty good for those materials, for sure. So with that being said, the materials come out at an eight out of 10. It doesn't quite get that nine or a 10 out of 10 because in order to make a shoe that is really supportive, the materials need to have a certain structure yep. and rigidity to them. And unfortunately that will take away from things like the flexibility and the breathability just a little bit. Shoe was and hot, And that is what bro. we have here. Hot so, shoe. So support, fantastic. Breathability, let's move on. Hot shoe. Now last but definitely not least, talking about the fit. The LeBron Soldier 13 is a great fitting shoe. You right? I don't know about great fitting shoe. Wow. Like that, you know? I say it's a very good fitting shoe. Okay. But great is a bit of a madness. I don't think it is. Talk, tell them why it's not great then. Look, the fit is good, but wow, big my toes were hurting y'all. Your My toes, toes hurting. were hurting. I almost gave the fit a seven. Ooh, don't know about that. It's too I long. almost get, look, the fit is an eight. Right? Yeah, I hate let's, that. Let's, get that out of the way. The fit is an eight out of eight ten. Eight out of ten fit. Cool. All yeah, right? it's very good. Now, the reason why I'm saying that I almost gave the fit a seven is firstly, we recommend that you go um, half a size. I do up, agree with that. Treat the size. I do agree. Because my toes were at the end. So were mine. They were there. All right. They were there. I clipped my toenails. Second session, I was good. Cool. But my toes were still at the end, bro. But that's because of the inner cushions right. on the heel. Yeah. So you're kind of being pushed a little bit towards the end. I did feel what you were feeling. I did feel it. You did say that it was pinching as well. That's pinching. I'm not going to lie. You did say it was pinching in the company strap. Just a little bit. I did feel some heel slippage. Did you feel some heel slippage? Only a tiny bit, but I got over that very quick. Okay, say nothing. I did. So kind of those heel slippage, pinching and toes is really why it's not a 10. And everything that we're saying were more from the first time we put exactly. the shoe on. Yep. Second, third, you know, all the other times, on. the shoe felt fine. Yep. However, half a size up for Definitely. sure. Definitely. That's there, we can agree on that. Half yeah. a size up, 100%. So right guys, looking at all the scores, 
The LeBron Soldier 13 is an 8.8 .8 out of 10. Are you joking? That's low key a 9. 8.8 .8 though. That's 8 low key 8 out of 10. one of the highest shoes ever on our channel. I know, I know what to tell you. And all of that comes from the straps, the support, the support, the fit, which gets better over time. Yep. The traction is A1. Say no more. And the cushioning is beautiful. Yep. So overall, this is definitely one of the best overall shoes on our, on our, on our channel for sure. Big facts. That's it from us. Massive shout out again to the lovely people over at Perfect Basketball. If you would like your pair of the LeBron Soldier 13s, click the link in the description box below to their website where they will indeed take care of you. But of course, before you go, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Like this video, show your support to your boys. Comment down below your thoughts on the Soldier 13. Will you be copping a pair? If you already have, after watching this video, make sure you let us know. It's a pure kicks on court thing. And of course, hit that subscribe button and the bell next to it to get notified every time we drop a new video. So right guys, that's it from us. This is the Nike LeBron Soldier 13. We're pure kicks. Let's, Let's get, get it. it.